The development process for Daredevil Born Again in the MCU has been really interesting as it seems like Marvel is kind of struggling on how they want to approach the Daredevil character in the MCU. Because early on in the development, it seemed like they were going in a different direction, you know, in contrast to what they did in the Netflix Daredevil TV show and kind of having a somewhat soft reboot of the character. Well, you know, it's still the same cast members, John Berthal as Punisher, Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin, and obviously Charlie Cox as Daredevil. But, you know, in his appearances throughout like maybe like No Way Home or She-Hulk, you kind of see a different aspect of the character with like a new suit in She-Hulk. You see more of his acrobatics, you know, mixed in with CGI, but also a bit lighter version of the character, which is fine. And then you come to the actual production of the Daredevil Born Again series, in which it was kind of halted due to like the strikes. But then afterwards, you come to find out that Marvel Studios isn't really happy with the direction that the show was going. So they pretty much just clean slate, restarted the entire production of the show, getting brand new writers, directors. And now it seems like they want to take more inspiration from the Netflix Daredevil show and go more in that route in terms of like its vibe violence and maturity with the new Marvel spotlight like brand in which they're going to go for more a mature TV MA style you know starting with Echo. They even went as far as to hire the showrunner for the Punisher series on Netflix to work on Daredevil Born Again but then it kind of begs the question if you're going this far to make it more like the Netflix Daredevil show saying how the original writing and script for the show didn't have enough action and Matt Murdock didn't put on the suit until like episode four or whatever you know obviously since you want to be more like Netflix Daredevil then why not just hire the writers and directors from the Netflix Netflix Daredevil show because the only reason this show even exists is due to the campaign and you know the reaction from fans wanting a season four of Daredevil since it was canceled by Netflix pretty much all fans were asking for was a continuation with the same actors writers and directors and everybody involved from the first three seasons of Daredevil and just continue with the season four my initial reaction to seeing that Disney Plus was working on a Daredevil series I'm like my first intuition was literally if it's not the same writers and directors it won't be as good I just don't think they're going to be able to match that level of quality with a brand new creative team especially if we're looking at the track record of pretty much every other marvel disney plus show now i still have faith that it'll be good considering the fact that they are retooling and reworking the show meaning they actually do care about producing a quality product but i just feel like any chance of you matching that level of quality from the netflix daredevil show is completely diminished if you just don't get the people who worked on that show to work on daredevil born again or just make a season four and for what it looks like i feel like they kind of somewhat missed the mark on why the netflix daredevil show was so beloved by fans considering the fact that in some of the earlier pitches of the show you know before it got retooled there was no mention of foggy nelson or karen page and it's just like what are you doing those characters are very vital to matt murdoch's character in the show and i feel like getting rid of them entirely is a very much a miscalculation on marvel's part and with like some of the earlier versions of the born again series how one of the complaints from like producers at marvel was saying how the show didn't have enough action sequences or what something like that and while yes the action sequences in the daredevil netflix show were really good it's not what made the show special. It's not what made it stand out. What made it stand out was its writing and its characterization, its drama, and how it handled these characters from the source material. Now, on a more positive note, I do hope that the introduction of Daredevil Born Again, or just the Daredevil character in the MCU, will give more highlight to the street-level aspect of the MCU, as I think that's something that's been kind of looked over on. And I think, like, the Marvel spotlight thing that they're doing with a lot of these Disney Plus shows will be for more, like, street-level characters, like what they're doing with Echo. Like, imagine that for, like, Moon Knight Season 2, too, which I think was a really weird decision that they decided not to have Moon Knight more brutal in TVMA considering the fact that Kevin Feige was hyping up the show to be very brutal very bloody but that just wasn't the case at all but with the Marvel spotlight and making Echo TVMA they could have done that for Moon Knight at any time but they just simply chose not to for some reason and maybe we'll see a revival of some of the other you know Defenders Netflix universe characters like with Punisher getting his own spinoff or maybe a new iteration of Heroes for Hire with like Luke Cage and Iron Fist and it's very likely that Matt Murdock could make a really big role in Spider-Man 4 with like the rumors going around of like Kingpin kind of outlawing any vigilantes in New York so that you have the idea of like Peter Parker, Spider-Man and Daredevil teaming up to try to take down Kingpin and maybe there's like a bounty on either one of them and you have like different villains trying to take them down. I think that's a really good idea. Really hone in on like the street level aspect. I just hope that they don't cram in a bunch of street level characters that like there's rumored to be. I don't really think that's necessary. I'm kind of tired of like these MCU Spider-Man movies cramming in as much other heroes as possible. I mean all I can hope is for the best i really hope this daredevil show is really good i really hope they're cooking up at marvel studios i just think that if they want to replicate that level of success just bring in the writers from the netflix daredevil show